Okay, it's day 564 off the grid. And today I decided to get on and do that work on the sock light that I'd planned on doing a few months ago. Yeah, many months ago really. And at that point I wanted to improve the performance of the reading light and I'd come up with a number of different options that I could do. Well, in the end I chose one of the simplest. And here's the reading light itself that I've removed. And the reason why I've removed it is I've simply converted what was a GU10 230 volt fixture into an MR16 12 volt to take this lovely MR16 LED bulb here. That was one of the main reasons why I went this way because I got this from Bunnings a month or so ago, really cheap, $3. These were originally $30 or something like that. They were one of the first generation of sort of consumer um, LED lights that you couldn't just pick up from Trade Me or eBay from China like these were the ones at the, you know, the high street stores as it were but they were really really dear but they're good these old Philips LED bulbs were really good and I've picked up a number of them of different types dirt cheap once they've kind of been superseded by newer cheaper models and no one wants the old ones and then you get them cheap so anyway yeah so there's my there's my fixture I'll pull this out okay so a bit of a quick and dirty job there um, I just pulled this GU10 out that's the GU10 that was in there and this one here kind of just fitted in there one of the original GU10 screws is, I put that back in and that's kind of just wedged it in there and it's not going anywhere so that's all good. It wasn't the original MR16 socket I was going to use. The same day as I bought the LED bulb I bought this one at considerable expense actually. This cost about five bucks this one. It's got some nice silicone wires but at the end of the day it was just going to be more of a challenge to fit than that that older one with the um, spaghetti wires so I just fitted that one so that's you know mischief managed there and of course I had to make a few modifications to the sock light unit itself obviously doing this method meant I didn't have to muck around with the inverter or the transformer or anything like that because I'm still happy with the way this powers the actual sock light itself it's only the reading light I was trying to improve so I basically just rewired it so that at the back here on these terminals you still get the high voltage appearing across the leftmost two for the sock light and you just get basically 12 volts from the battery passed along to the rightmost terminals for the reading light as simple as that really so I've reconfigured the switching so that it goes through the main switch still and then the DC just goes straight into the the pole of this um, changeover switch so it just now instead of selecting high voltage from either to go, going to either the sock light or the reading light this just selects whether it's going to send the 12 volts either directly out here to the reading light or through the inverter to the sock light so it's being switched on the low voltage side now hopefully that won't create issues with current and um, contacts and DC and all that kind of stuff but the currents are fairly modest this basically means I've preserved the standard operation of the sock light that I'm familiar with and kind of like and don't see any reason for two lights on at once. I mean I could have just rewired it so that that turned on and off the inverter for the sock light and that could have just been an on off switch for the 12 volt light but kind of like it this way so that's what I've done. I mean it had to be this way in the original configuration because that inverter was not going to be able to run the two bulbs properly at once but now I guess I could run them both but I don't want to so that's basically that. I'm just going to case it back up, take it in the room and see if I haven't done anything nasty and created some nasty heinous fault but um, yeah once it proves that works, screw the um, socket back up on the wall, fit the new LED bulb and there we go. Oh, that's what the LED bulb looks like. It's quite a chunky, heavy, heavy thing. Six and a half watts too, so it's not exactly the most economical LED bulb, but of course, 
I can always change it for a different MR16 later on if I need to, but I don't think I will. I think that's a pretty good bulb. So there we go, day 564 off the grid, and maybe by the time I post this video, I'll calculate what day of the sock light this would be if we were still doing the sock light posts. We'll see. I could be bothered.